What is up and welcome to my video, taking a quick look at the Pixel 8 Pro, the Pixel Watch 2, and we're gonna go ahead and slap on a screen protector on the Pixel 8 Pro because it's got that awesome flat display. And to be honest, I don't wanna have to worry about scratching it up on the first day. So let's get these out of the way. Um, we'll get these little guys out of the way too. So this is how they sent it over in this little uh, baggie here. This was not sent to me by Google. I did purchase this, so let's get that out of the way right now. Not paid for or anything. I haven't had a chance to see it yet. There you go, Pixel 8 Pro. Yes, I did get it in the Blue Bay version. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And the unveil. First reaction, um, I have not seen this yet. Wow, okay. So this is the Bay Blue. Pretty clean, feels nice and light. All right, so I'm getting distracted. All right, so in the box, USB-A to USB-C, USB-C cable, little card here, is there a, yep. And you get the SIM card ejector tool in here as well. That's it. Let's go ahead and look at the Pixel Watch 2. And again, you know, I have both, uh, I have the Pixel Watch 1 as well. And uh, I actually really liked it. It just felt to me like a more elevated Fitbit though, so. Okay, we've got an unmarked box on the inside. So it just comes open. All right, that's kind of cool. Watch this. So the box inside just Hello. Okay, here we have the extra strap, power cable. Oh, it's a way better uh, opening experience than the old box, which actually I have here. Okay, so this is last year's model. Regular box, open it up. I mean, look at the difference. Good job, Google. Uh, a couple of updates with this guy. Obviously, you're gonna have a new chip in here. It's supposed to have better battery life. Uh, also, with the always on display, that's supposed to be significantly better. If you want to know all the tech specs and all that kind of stuff, you can look them up on the website or go watch MKBHD or something. I just want to give initial impressions as to what this looks like. So here's the bay color. It has that polished chrome. I'll tell you what, the one uh, thing I would say about these watches, I have noticed that they scratch kind of easily uh, on here, so just keep that in mind. See on the back on the inside, you have the better sensors, which it's gonna give you auto workout detection. It's supposed to give you a better rate of the heart and everything like that. Other features as well, which we can cover in another video. Like I said, I just wanna take a look and see what it feels like, what it looks like. There you go. So besides the strap, it feels exactly the same, no different. So the real test is gonna be powering it on, syncing it up and powering it to this guy. That's a pretty cool combo, I gotta say. So they're not exactly the same. They're pretty close though. You know, let's do it in this light. Yeah, not bad. Looks pretty good. Man, this phone looks good. So what I like to do before anything, put my screen protector on immediately after I unbox it. Now, I hear a lot of people talking about the flat versus rounded display. Personally, I prefer flat. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Kind of disappointing. It's a flat display, all right? Here we go. Okay, I'm back after uh, getting the screen protector cleaned up a little bit. As you can see here, really hard to see on camera, but it is super clean, really nice, and uh, gave me a little bit of problems with some uh, little lint in there, but using the dust removal stickers, you can just get that right out. All right, so just initial impressions. Looks amazing, feels really good. I wasn't sold on the blue when I ordered it, but now that I have it, I'm sold. I'm sold, it's really clean. Let's do a comparison here. This is white titanium on the new iPhone 15 Pro and the Pixel 8 Pro. Believe it or not, this is the blue iPhone 15, which you can see a difference here, white, blue on the left. As, you know, that's not blue, this is blue. Really nice, that's a quick look at the unboxing. Um, chrome all around the edges, that matte soft finish, it's slippery, you know, you're gonna probably gonna wanna get a case for it still. Something about the titanium on here makes it a little bit easier and more confident to grip, if that makes sense. Something like this now, it is bigger. So this is the aluminum iPhone. Gonna have aluminum rails on the back, it's iPhone 15. 
and there's a confidence that comes along with using a phone without a case. Uh, the reason I like using this without the case, besides it being really light and small and good form factor, is because the titanium doesn't slip in my fingers, and with the t uh, stainless steel rails, I found it always slipping out of my hand. This one here, it's got a nice kind of stickiness to it on the rails, which makes it think that I could actually use this without a case. Uh, around the house, things like that, I probably will without a case. I might even take the screen protector off and just go naked the whole way. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Did you pick up the new Pixel 8 Pro um, or not? I'm just going to have to see how this color looks outside. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to see that. Maddie the Tech you want on Twitter. I'm going to post some video uh, samples. I'm also going to post some photos and also do some real world uh, color showing of this. So I'll post some what it really looks like in the sun, not in studio lights. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you hanging out. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.